Between 2007 and 2014, the African savanna elephant population declined by 144,000 animals, decimated mainly by poaching. In Tanzania, home of the iconic Serengeti National Park, the elephant population has shrunk by 60% in five years. Now, in response to this environmental crisis, a new approach to wildlife conservation is being pioneered, turning poachers into game scouts, deploying cutting-edge technology, and uplifting local communities through education and job creation. This is the story of the men and women who are working to bring the great elephant herds back to the African savannah. It's a long story. <laughs> a long story. Uh, you know, before this work, I'm a, I'm I'm working. I'm a, I'm a poacher. Bada kumwe za shule nika kanza kufanya uinda ju uinda ju nikona uinda huma ene umwe kinyesha nikona uinda tano mbugani na huku kuni upi upi zirikuwa zipo hizi na uinda uinda huku. Jina langu likatangazika kwa hiyo kila anayetaka kuja polini lazima anipitie. Kwa hiyo kupitia hapo kabidi hakuna mtu anaweza kuja polini bila mimi kwa sababu lazima wanipitie kwa sababu bila kunipitia mimi siwezi kwenda nikarudi bila nyama. Kwa hiyo ni sababu ni kwa mwindaji mzuri. Eh aina hapa kwa mfano kama Zamani watu walikuwa wamezoea hii ni mboga na wao wa wenyewe ukiwaenda kuongea nao wanakuambia hii ni, ni zawadi kutoka kwa Mungu. Mungu alitengeneza wanyama watu wale. Na ndivyo wanavyojua wanyama waliletwa kwa ajili ya kuu. Kwa ajili binadamu wauwe na wale ni kama mboga Mungu alileta. Kwa hiyo ndio maana unaona wanata wanata wanawinda hizo nyama kwa mboga. There are two types of poaching that affect the wildlife in this region. One is poaching of game meat for the parts or to sell in the communities. The other poaching is killing elephants in order to harvest their tusks for illegal ivory trade. This is a far more lucrative and sophisticated form of poaching that has had a devastating effect on elephant numbers across Africa. This is the location of an elephant that was poached for its ivory. The head is gone. Some local people, they're thinking this is a medicine. They're using like a South African calling some songoma. Some others take that, that heads and they cut them a piece, piece, piece like that. And they're thinking, they're thinking because, <laughs> because the elephant is big. When you, you get that, that, that head, you can be, they're thinking the elephant, they have big knowledge because it's big. <laughs> Despite ivory's value on the international black market, local poachers only receive a fraction of this amount. Not more than $150, US dollar. Will that keep me alive for six months, for a year? One week. One week, one week, oh. It's not enough, that is a few money, it's because the life is tough. Yeah, the life is tough. According to the Great Elephant Census published in 2016, Tanzania has lost more than half its elephant population, a 60% decrease between 2009 and 2014. On the western edge of the iconic Serengeti ecosystem in Tanzania lie the Singita Grumeti concessions. The Singita Grumeti Fund was established in 2002 in an effort to rehabilitate these lands to their former glory. 
No is their chief ecologist. It's really sad to have to face the fact that uh, our most iconic land mammal remaining in the, on Earth today, the African elephant, is under such uh, pressure. There's a real and a serious problem here. The population of African elephant has declined significantly for many years. At the turn of the last, the last century, Africa had more than a million elephants, but uh, the number has gone down to less than 500,000 across Africa. Trade in ivory, you know, is a, is a big business globally. It's around cartels and, uh, you know, it's about corruption. It's about porous boundaries. So it's a huge challenge uh, that is uh, obvious, but also uh, I believe there could, uh, there, there's still room to do more and to realize more success than we have been able to. This is the entire Serengeti ecosystem, both the Tanzanian and Kenyan side, and here the pinkish uh, patch here is uh, where this uh, area lies. So we are like the gatekeepers on the northwestern uh, side of this uh, uh, Serengeti Mara ecosystem. We cannot afford to lose this battle. We are going to have to continue no matter what. And uh, actually, we have a good reason to do that because here we have uh, an, an area where elephant numbers are on the increase, even if in other places the numbers are taking a serious uh, dive. How can the views on poaching be changed? Raising awareness and the provision of economic opportunities are fundamental. Kotira is a case in point. Yale maisha ya kijangiri ni maisha ya ziki ambayo hayafai hata kuelezea. Na gotera wa zamani ungekuwa labda ungeniona zamani ukiniona na sasa hivi, huwezi kuamini kama ni mimi lakini kuna kuna mabadiliko makubwa na nimejiona mtu mwenye bahati. In order to stop the decimation of elephant numbers, one needs a multifaceted approach to prevent the poaching. The first cog in this wheel is the anti-poacher, also known as the Game Scout. Game Scout Next 
tumempeleka hospitali akatibiwa na akapona yupo anaendelea na kazi. mfumo ambao tuna tangu tumefika hapa mfumo ambao tulikuwa tunautumia tulikuwa tunakwenda kijijini tunachukua watu tunapochukua watu wanakuja kwenye selection wanakitia kwenye selection ambayo tunawafanyisha tunawakimbiza vio kilomita nane kuna wanafanya mazoezi ya push up baby sit ups kila kitu na ndani ya siku 14 wale ambao ni wavivu wavivu unaona wanakuwa mbele kwa hiyo ukimkamata jangiri ukasema labda umbadilishe au askari unaweza kumbadilisha lakini inataka muda na umchunguze vizuri na vitu kama hivyo ni ngumu kwa sababu cha kwanza ni, vi, ni watu wachache sana wanaobadilika taratibu pole pole tembea mtembee mtumbie A dangerous aspect of poaching is the use of wire snares to catch animals for their meat. Inakuwa imetegwa mahali hivi kwenye mti nafasi kwenye nafasi kama hivi. Nafungwa hapa na nini inakuwa imetegwa kama hapa. Kwa hiyo mnyama anapotembea anaingiza kichwa ananigwa na anakuwa amekufa. Siku muda mfupi tu. Mnyama anaweza kufa kwa muda wa dakika 4 5 anakuwa ameshakufa tayari. The scouts need to patrol the reserve regularly to catch the poachers and remove the wire snares. The longer the snares remain in place, the more damage they can do. The tragedy of snaring is that it is indiscriminate. They catch anything that walks through, whether it be antelope, lion, or giraffe. Wanyama wote hata hata tembo ana naso kwenye mkonga, kwenye mguu, viboko, wote wanakufa. Pofu, nyumbu, kamera, wote. Karibu wanyama wote wanazulika na hizi This young elephant was caught by a snare on its neck and later rescued. The game scouts report any animals they see with snares on them to the fund, so immediate actions can be taken before it's too late. Yeah, we come by.
Ehe. Sasa. Sasa hapa wakishi sasa hapa. Through many years of working with the wild animals, you know, you get this big relief when you see that help came in on time and the animal can move on and continue with its life. So that, if it is predation to come or natural death, let it not be caused by human interventions. Ni sana kuwa na chombo kama hiki ambacho ni cha upi katika eneo hili kwa sababu eh, askari wanakaa hapo wawili kwa muda wa siku 14 ambao kazi yao ni kuangalia maeneo yote kwa masaa 24 Kazi muhimu ya doria ya upi ni kuangalia maeneo yanakuwa salama kwa usi, kwa mchana na usiku wanaangalia movements za magari mtu anayepita ngombe zimevuka jangiri na vitu kama hivyo wanyama labda wanyama waharibifu kama wamevuka mto na kwenda mtu gari imekuja ambayo sio ya kampuni na vitu kama hivyo tunafanya kazi kila siku na ujangiri bado upo kwa hiyo challenge kubwa nilionayo mimi ni kwamba jangiri wanabadilika kila kunapokucha vitu vinabadilika in an effort to be one step ahead of the poachers conservationists need to adopt and embrace modern technology to support their anti poaching teams this technology helps in many ways to identify and collect data as well as communicating and connecting teams in response to poaching events. This needs a talented and diverse set of people. Conservation has, has been very um, traditional in the past years. You would actually just send troops to the ground to search or patrol and you will not have any idea what you're looking for. It was actually a needle in a haystack model. But with this, with this kind of technology that we have here, you could actually just send the troops out in the ground when needed to. The reserve is pioneering the use of drone technology to better empower Alina and her team with information collecting and coordinating the responses from the scout teams. in the room for the scouts that, that are on the ground. It, it's a huge, uh, it's, it's actually a huge task. It's nothing to be taken lightly because if anything happens to them in the field, I mean, it, it's going to be on me. Like, I, well, I didn't do something right. Noel uses motion-sensitive cameras to capture animal movements in the reserve and see if they pass over the reserve's boundary into community land. Likewise, these cameras can monitor any poachers who move into the reserve. This use of modern technology helps Noel to do more with less in the battle to maintain and protect the reserve's biodiversity in tough circumstances. It's very important to collect data on animals, on other resources that we have here. If we don't gather data and analyze them, we will be managing our area kind of blindly because it's the information that comes from this data that informs us about um, key trends. So our work ties well with our colleagues in the protection uh, side and uh, also the community outreach department 
this is a teamwork if every player is doing their part uh, effectively then overall you have the success that we have been describing here These community members have been reliant on exploiting uh, natural resources for their very survival for many years and now we have a good reason to uh, conserve this area but uh, what do you do with the fact that these people you know need this these very resources that you're trying to limit access to Conservation organizations can have the best technology and the most highly trained anti-poachers. But if they do not involve the communities that live on the borders of these natural reserves, they will not turn this crisis around. So another key element in modern conservation is the work outside of the reserves, the engagement and the upliftment of local communities. Someone who understands this delicate equation, balancing the needs of the community with the needs of the natural environment, is Frida. In uh, Sengita Grumet Fund, we believe that tourism could have been not there if these communities were not taking uh, good care of the wild, wildlife. They used to, wildlife used to be on their hands before us. So, in order to, to, for the tourism benefit to flow, to the local communities. This is one of the ways the tourism uh, flows direct to the local communities because we buy from them, they feed us, but we give them money to survive. Uh, matunda, Naleta hapa kwa ajili ya kuuzia kampuni ya Gurumi. Namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kweli hapa ndipo nilipofikia niko kwenye hatua nzuri tu maana yake pia unalima nina miti kama 10 hivi. Ah, mwaka ujao anamalizia. Alafu nina sikuwa na nyumba ila mpaka sasa hivi niko kwangu nimeshajenga. Ah, nafikiria sasa. Yaani uhifadhi ni muhimu sana kwangu. Na maana bila uhifadhi bila kulinda hao wanyama au usa nyingine kuwapiga au kupiga hao watalii wanaokuja kututembelea kwa ajili maana wanatusaidia kuingiza kipato chao. Bidi ni waheshimu sana na nawalinda sana. Tofauti na zamani. Zamani kwenda kufikiria hata bila kupata nyama ile kwenda kuuza mitaani huwezi kupata hela. Lakini sasa hivi ninategemea chama changu hapa kwa mwezi napata hela. <laughs> Everything you have seen here uh, is feeding like nine, nine tourist camps, but also kitchen for staff. We have got 800 plus staff, which are also getting fruits, vegetables, tomatoes, and what have you from this market. This community, a lot of people were hunters, and now you change them, they're not farmers, uh, naturally. So changing a person from hunter to a farmer, you, you can understand how hard it is. So we started by recruiting people, few by few, and then at least to make sure that each one have a plot, have a farm, at least one acre, because we don't want them to buy some produce somewhere from a certain market and bring it here, but rather we need people to work to have their farms. So this is a very good alternative way of just making people attracted to do some other businesses rather than go poaching. In order to grow the awareness of conservation in the reserve surrounding communities, the Environmental Education Center was established. When they get home, they'll tell their parents, oh my dear, you are killing, you are killing elephant because of a task. Uh, one tourist pays like maybe 500 USD dollar to just to see one elephant. Mm -hmm. 
lakini kama ni kauli kweli kauli zipo lakini haziwezi kuwa zikakaa hapo milele Although Gotera loves his job, some groups of people in the community don't appreciate his diligent work, as it may affect their livelihood from poaching. Una kutoka na nai kazi ni mepoteza marafiki wengi, ambayo ni mepoteza marafiki na baadhi ya wananchi kuna watu hawa ni sarimi na mimi ma ma mahusiano yangu na wananchi ya meharibika. Dio na watoto watatu ambao na soma Kenya. Na ni ni kwa sababu hapa sio salama na wapeleka kwa sababu kuna mtu ananijua. Ni bali kuna mtu ananifahamu kwa hiyo salama. Naipenda hii kazi na hii haya mazingira sio salama. Sasa inabidi niondoke ili niwe salama. Sina namna nyingine. Sio salama kwa sababu ta watu wana wana mawazo tofauti na ile kazi niliyofanya. Watu hawapendi Baka kuna watu kule kijijini wanajua mimi ni kichaa. Kwa sababu nakatalia wanyama ambao wameletwa na Mungu. Mimi najisikia vizuri kwa sababu ninafanya kazi nzuri na na wale wananitukia kwa sababu hawajui wanachofanya. Unapata tu elimu ya kawaida na baadaye ndio wakishakuwa wakubwa ndio wataenda kwenye elimu ya kazi ndio wataenda kuwa. Mpaka na askari. Ah mimi kwa kwa kawaida watoto wangu nina ninafikiri na ninahitaji wasome waje wao wana nafasi za juu katika nafasi hii ya kuhifadhi wanyama. Wao wana nafasi kubwa na waweze kuishi porini kawa na mimi kwa sababu haya mazingira ni, ni sehemu nzuri ya kuishi watu. 